my name is Kari Blanchard and I am one of the interior designers here at First and Main Design Market in Bothell, Washington. Have you ever walked into a room that just felt amazing? I mean, it felt like a hug. It felt comfortable. Something about it. You just couldn't put your finger on exactly what it is that made that room feel so inviting. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Some of the things that probably that person did to have that effect. I'll show you how. One of the terms that we use a lot in interior design is layering. And you may have heard that before, and if you haven't, let's just walk through what that looks like. Layering basically means that you're introducing elements that overlay on each other and that build to create dimension and texture and provoke different feelings within you. Maybe that serve different functions, so you layer different functions on each other. Uh, it could be putting, you know, something in front of a beautiful piece of artwork. Maybe you have a lamp in front of that. Lighting could be a layer. So there's a lot of different ways to think about layering in your space. So let's talk more about layers and let's use a room, a living room, for example, so that we can all kind of visualize this thing coming together. The first layer would be what furnishings go in that room. Do you need a sectional? Do you need a sofa? What's going to function best for your family? Would it be a coffee table or an ottoman? Will they be end table? So this is the first layer is talking about function, what pieces are going to go in that space. All right, so now that we have our pieces selected, let's talk about another layer. And that would be an area rug, something comfortable and warm and cozy, maybe roll around with your dog or kids on the floor and have fun. And lighting, lighting is always important. Do you need overall lighting? Do you need task lighting? How is that lighting going to make your space feel really warm and comfortable? Okay, we can't forget the most important layer, and that is your wall. Your walls are an important layer to consider. So are we doing wall coverings? Are we doing a wood wall, an exit wall? Are we doing paint? Are we gonna layer in some beautiful wallpaper, which is amazing? Um, what's gonna go on top of that? That layer, next layer would be artwork. So right now our room is looking really good, but we can't forget the things that take a room and make it a home. And that's gonna be accessories, collectibles, things that like pillows that make it really layer on top of what you already have and become all about you. So the next part of layering is, I think a little intimidating for some people and certainly where an interior designer can help. And that is using textiles, rugs, pillows, different fabrics, and all of that to create a depth and a personalization to your space that really is gonna set it apart from any other room you've seen. For example, in that said living room, maybe we did a really organic rug for the base and we wanted to have a little contrast, so we put a, an animal print rug over that. We layered it on top. There's no fear in that, it looks amazing. And then on our sofa, maybe we did a wonderful chenille beautiful fabric in a solid tone and we want to add some different florals or textures or stripes or some sort of pattern that's going to stand off of that couch and add interest to the space. Another layering opportunity would be your coffee table. So have you ever walked into a room and seen this beautiful coffee table? For some reason it doesn't look cluttered. It just looks artistic. It looks intentional. That's what we do with like maybe you stack a couple books and you have a beautiful statue and a plant. Keep it simple, but really elegant. Layer on top of that piece to get that effect. Your room doesn't have to be one dimensional. So when we're talking about layering and lighting, there's nowhere more important in that than in the kitchen. So in a kitchen, you're gonna layer lighting in three different ways. You're gonna have your overall lighting, which would be your lights overhead. Then you're gonna have your task lighting, which would be over your sink or under your cabinets. So you can see what you're doing. And then ambient lighting would be something like your pendants, which would give a soft glow to the room and provide character and also kind of a place to just add your personality. So I know some of that might've seemed overwhelming, but really don't be fearful of layering. Layering is what sets a room apart. Layering is what adds depth and character to a space. It's what sets your room aside and really creates an actual design space one that you'll love living in and people will love coming to see. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope that you got something from it and you can take it to your home. Let us know what you think in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. 
Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.